Has anyone ever heard of a Toto? There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. No, 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 not the Toto. A Toto. Hey. Welcome back to my channel. Now, recently I've been approached by a company, a Toto. They asked me whether or not I would review one of their products and, well, I've got to be honest, I jumped at the chance. My channel's progressed a lot over the last few weeks to be asked to do a review of a product. Obviously, I'm going to jump at it. That said, though, this isn't just a shameless way to get something for free because obviously that's a bonus, but I needed something that was going to update the cab when they approached me and they offered me to have an inbuilt system, I said I wasn't really keen on the idea of wiring things in. I mean, with all the other bits and pieces I've done on the van, electrical wiring was definitely not anything that I wanted to get involved with. So they said they do a standalone unit, and lucky for me, it's pretty much the top end of what they do. If you'll see in this video, I must have liked the product. I'll make the video, but if I don't like the product, they get the product back, and I just don't release this. So if it's up, happy days, everyone's a winner. But just stick it out to the end. I know people don't really like it when people do review stuff and paid promotions and stuff, but come on, I just wanted something for free and I'm buzzing about it. So yeah, let's get on and unbox it. So this is the P9 on dash navigator series, seamless phone integration because it does absolutely everything by all accounts. The box is pretty sick get your uh, instructions there this thing does actually do a hell of a lot of stuff so I'm probably going to actually need those first thing you find is your actual screen feels actually pretty good to be honest I like that more instructions warranty online support that's so on and so forth then I'll just take this out let's dash that loads of stuff so let's just pick a bag and the first bag I've got steering wheel remote you can take this off from what I understand and use the 3M sticky and stick it somewhere because I probably won't be attaching this to my actual steering wheel. Let's jump straight into some wires. Right, these I do believe are for camera attachments, but we'll soon figure that out. Um, we've also got, that's the microphone. And then we've got a 3.5 to 3.5 standard aux lead cable holders. These are adhesive cable holders to help tidy away all your bits and pieces. This is a lead I haven't seen before. Ah, there we go. That's a dash cam cable there. Ah, this is a mounting bracket for the actual unit itself, but we'll run through all of that in a second. These little bad boys here are something that terrified me when I first looked at it. So when I spoke to a Toto, they said about put, like, the, in, the installation of things like that, and I still didn't want to do any wiring. I was under the impression that this was going to come with a, a cigarette lighter, 12 volt, um, smart plug that they have on the P8 unit, which does pretty much everything. You plug it into your cigarette lighter and it just works and everything's, I've got a cigarette lighter right there. So I was hoping it was gonna be that, but they sent me these piggyback fuse holders, which I've got to be honest, I'm not really 100% sure how they work, but you do have to figure out which fuse you're gonna to use to piggyback off of. One of them is an ignition live and one of them is a permanent live. There's a video that a Toto do that you can find out which ones to use, if that makes any sense. So what I'll do is I'll link that in the description. It's a, about a three minute video. It's, I haven't done it yet, so we can learn that bit together in a minute, but that's, yeah. So I'll link that anyway, because that's what these are for. Uh, this I believe is the main wiring loom. This is quite important. Oh, we've got one more bag. Ah, that's a reversing camera. So that was a very painful, I'm sure you'll agree, unboxing situation. I don't think this is as technical as I'm thinking. It's just I'm not very good with electrical wiring. But what I will say about the unit itself, just looking at it, it does have a lot of bits and pieces. Like you can fit a SIM card into this so that you can turn this into its own wireless unit so you can have your own um, Google and stuff like that on there. And it's also got an SD slot for the dash cam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So now we're gonna carefully pack this back away. Then we're gonna go in the cab and we're gonna uh, yeah, start sticking it in. Let's, let's start sticking something in, come on. Every time I've done anything in Trigger Mills car park, there has to be a chicken involved. I didn't want to break the tradition, so have a chicken. 
So the first thing we're going to do is I've made sure that this is clean. I've wiped that off. It's actually really hot today, so it should stick really well. I'm going to take this pad that's provided. I'm going to peel off the back in. It's nice and gummy. Lovely. I'm just going to place it right there. Not there. Not there. Mission abort. Right. If I don't get it straight, it's going to wind me up. Honestly, it will do my head in. Right, that looks good to me. Let's give it a little press down. And then you get this bad boy here. So this, peel that off there. Lift up the arm there. And he should sit and lock on just like that. See, that looks a bit low to me now. I might have just, I might have just committed. I might have committed and I've done it wrong. Funky ass screen though. Pop him in like that. Give him a little pull, clicks into place. Pop him on there. Give him a little twist, clicks into place. Now for me, that's absolutely bang on. I mean, I don't think I'd, yeah, I think that's fine. So now the next thing I have to do is uh, figure out where these wires are gonna go. Let's see if we can get some wires wired in. I think I built it up too much in my mind. It wasn't half as complicated as I thought. Once I'd figured out which fuses need to come out and piggyback off the provided parts from a Toto, everything went plain sailing after that. A Toto provided everything you need in every single kit, so it was easy. Really happy with how that's gone. I managed to get all the wires squared away, tucked away up here. That actual wiring loom comes with the 3.5 mil um, auxiliary plug on it, and it also has a USB um, plug as well so that's pretty handy and I've managed to plug that all into the 3.5 mil um, aux in on the van the remote comes with a strap so that you can actually tie it to your steering wheel wasn't really happy with that I did give it a little go but it's not really for me so I've stuck it there I think it's just handy just perfect right underneath the volume button perfect right so fingers crossed everything should just come alive when I turn the key there you go, everything's on. So to connect, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Bluetooth on my phone. It's gonna search for a Bluetooth device, P9, show straight up, click to P9, use CarPlay with CarLink, blah, 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 use CarPlay. It's never connected before, so it's gonna take a minute. And, and we're in. Do not connect, okay. Right, so, with that said, I should be able to say, hey, what's this one called? Hey Siri. Plot a route home. It looks like you don't have a home address listed on your contact card. You could have just said you're a homeless person. Plot a route for Bodmin. Getting directions to Bodmin. Look at that. Right, starting route to Bodmin. This does so much more than just work as a sat nav, which it does absolutely impeccably, might I add. It can also on top of running CarPlay, it can run Android Auto and pretty much any other of your smart systems that you're looking to run in your vehicle. Not only was it easy to install, it was really, really easy to use. The screen's awesome, swipeability's great, the capabilities are outstanding. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it does everything, including play YouTube. So yeah, like and subscribe. Check out my latest video on your P9. Now I was very lucky to get the reversing camera and the dash cam. The reversing camera I'll be using at a later date, but the dash cam is absolutely flawless. It's exactly what I was hoping for. And when it comes to playing music in the van now, it's so much easier thanks to the P9. Right, so in summary, I was genuinely in the market for one of these. I needed a dash cam, I wanted a dash cam. I needed a um, smart screen that was gonna give me car play and things like that. Uh, Jet's car actually has CarPlay integrated and I found on long journeys it was absolutely brilliant So I've really wanted it. So I genuinely I, I, Not lying. I was looking for one of these anyway. So when they approached me about this It sort of it seemed like it was ridiculous not to do it I know some people aren't really keen when people try to you know promote stuff on their channel But for me, this has been a massive feather in my cap that a company even paid any attention to what I've been doing enough to send me this Now this is the top end of what they do but like I said, there are incrementally lower priced, just as effective, just as intuitive, I hate saying it a lot, but versions of this, you can get them that you build in, you can get smaller ones, 100% there will be something in this range to suit your price bracket. For me personally, this suited mine because they sent it for nothing. So, so um, all I had to do was make a video about it. 
The fact that you've watched this video, I'm very grateful. The fact that I got to make this video, I'm very grateful. So all in all, it's been <laughs> this has been a buzz for me. The unit's absolutely fantastic. Massive shout out to everyone for watching. I do massively appreciate you. Huge shout out to a Toto as well. There's a link in the description and um, there's also a discount code there as well. Thanks for watching. It's been my first one of these. Hopefully I get to do more. If there's anybody who, I don't know, makes power banks and things like that watching that want to chuck me one of those to review, I'd be well grateful. Much love to all of you. Take care. See you soon. Be kind to yourselves. Love you. Bye.